Morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Sorry guys, we haven't been vlogging a lot. We've been just working really, really hard. We are, I'm currently at the Uber store, as you guys can see. Um, I'm just here, just manning in the store. I'm actually packing all this at the bottom. You guys can see, I'm always having double handle whilst I'm here. If you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hit that bell button because it notifies you every single time we release brand new videos, guys. And let's start this beautiful Monday morning. Let's go. Just quickly, guys, as you guys can see, I always have work up. So I'm talking to Joshua, but anyway. Um, I rearranged the store, so now that is facing the front because uh, the other day I actually stood in front of the store for an hour. I stood in front of the store for an hour looking at people. They don't know what we're selling, so now when you come from the front of the store, let me show you guys. Now from the front of the store, you see the air fresheners and the air fresheners are there. And then you walk in and you see everything else. But now I've moved that table at the front over here. And now this place is fully blocked off because we had customers coming through and trying to grab sneaker laundry people's shoes, which is hella annoying. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to another Monday vlog. Welcome back to like the beginning of a hectic week leading up to Christmas. I honestly can't believe Christmas is just next week. Is it on like Wednesday or Thursday? It's insane. And then New Year's Eve is like in two weeks time, which is crazy because I can't believe we're gonna be in the year 2020. Like it's insane. So thank you so much everyone for all the support you've given us over the last few years, especially this last year with supporting all of our businesses and all that. But right now I'm running a bunch of errands. High point as well is trading till like midnight every single night this week. So I'm gonna go tap out how at the store and catch up on some embroidery. If you guys didn't like this video and enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and uh, let's start this epic week. I hope you guys enjoy it. I am now just at the High Point store in the back room. I don't think we've ever shown you the back room here, but it is just so big. Like, honestly, you could have a full store here. Like, it's really, really messy at the moment, but we have just so many trolleys, all of our stock and everything. And then this is like our rubbish corner, which we definitely need to go do a rubbish run soon. But I've ordered some of these pink t-shirts. So what I've been doing is I've gonna be um, bubble doing a bubble t-shirt with the pink on it because I think it totally matches the Uru store. I've also got some tote bags which I wanna come up with like a super simple design so we can sell the in-store as well. I've got black and I've got some cream below. And I've also got a bunch of white t-shirts because I wanna embroider some boba teas on these as well i just refilled and restocked all of the boba teas before when i got here there was only three already done so i did quite a few and these right here are the pink ones that i ended up doing which turned out a lot nicer than i thought just back at the warehouse and as you guys can see a whole bunch of the new uh blocks have came in the building blocks as you guys can see they're all not packed so what i'm doing right now is packing them all up Guys, you see here and here and there and there and more here, more there. And I'm going to show you guys what came, oh, that's air freshers, what it came in the mail as well. Great. My, so hard, this thing fell off. Sick. Well, that was a failed transition. Anyway, guys, so uh, shout out to guys at uh, Carbon, Carbonetics, Carbonetics, yeah? So I ordered a whole bunch of things for the R35. Oh my god, nearly died, but... So this is um, rear bumper for side fins. Uh, this is... Oh, my hood scoops in this as well. That's mad. And then front lip. And then that's the side skirt. And I also bought us a vacuum cleaner that's made just for the warehouse. But my R35 is out there. I think I'm going to install it on a separate videos. And, and you guys don't have to watch a vlog. So I'll do like a tutorial style video on the in-store. I'm probably gonna do it outside because it's nice and sunny. Probably won't do it today, maybe, maybe, but maybe not. Anyway, um, there's one annoying thing that happened. These don't have boxes. They don't, which is, I don't know what to do. So I just went to the reject shop to grab some stuff and I also grabbed this Santa toy for honey. Like I'm totally getting into the Santa spirit, but I'm really questioning whether or not I should go buy a mini Christmas tree. It's only two weeks into Christmas, so I'm not sure if it's worth it by the time 
we put it up, it's only like a couple weeks of enjoying it and then we have to bring it down again, which is super annoying. But I reckon if I find like a mini one, it's kids in the apartment. So I might go upstairs and check up the store. We came to Big W to get a Christmas tree and the reason why I wanted to come was because look how cheap they are. It's like more than half price or half price, but they've only got the white ones left, a whole stack. I'm pretty sure they're sold out of all of the other ones. That's so annoying. Holy crap, there's a platypus here and it's freaking huge. This is crazy. And the lifts are not working. Oops, that's crazy. I am finally back home now. I actually didn't think that the day was going to be as late as I thought because Aileen ended up doing the close shift until midnight, so that's pretty good. How's just currently at the warehouse still. I think he's doing stuff to his car, putting on like, is it a body kit? I have no idea. But I'm just going to clean up the house a little bit. It's kind of getting messy and I just want to organize it. I also don't know if Hal has showed you this, but... He picked up this bag. Excuse me if this has already been shown in the vlog, but look at it. It is bigger than me. It is the biggest bag I've ever seen. Honey and Biggie could both fit in here. I just don't know how strong it would be. I feel like the handles would fall off, but it's honestly really cool. I don't know what I could put in here or what I should do with it though. So let me know what you guys think I should do. I want to kind of maybe display it somewhere. It's currently just like sitting on the side of like our kitchen area and it's probably not the best place but yeah i'll show you guys little snippets of the house but i still want to do a proper house tour and a little update on my grassy area it's still going pretty good like it's still green the edges are getting a little bit dry so i think i might just need to water it but i'm surprised at how long it's lasted i feel like it's been like two to three weeks now which is amazing the dogs are loving it like hey why is there pizza pizza here we're always getting random bits on our balcony these days like all these people are always just dropping stuff down which is crazy but as you guys can see look honey's using it oh good girl honey this plant is slowly dying from the wind though. Good girl. Well done, honey. Sorry guys, it's been a long day. As you guys can see, I did get some car parts, I, like I showed you guys, but I started undoing it, started working on my car, then it got dark, then we had to get a high point, and then a lot. Honestly guys, the days are just getting longer. Like if you guys don't know, High Point is open until 12 every single day. Like until a 24 hour trading. But uh, today, me and Aileen and Andy as well went to the shop. Uh, we, we were there from eight o'clock till 11, 11-ish. And then we closed it up and now I'm back here. But it's like, it's, it's really, really draining. Like. Why are people shopping at 11 p.m.? Like, come on, guys. Let me go home. Please, please let me go home. Anyway, tomorrow's going to be a really hot day, so let's uh, jump off to, to tomorrow. I'm going to pick up the camera more often tomorrow, but I'm going to be working on my car as well, and it's going to be a really hot day, so at the same time, I want to get things done really quickly. And we might take a day off on Wednesday. So on the Wednesday, I might film our uh, new house tour thing. So I went to Woolworths the other day and I found these right here. They are crunchy microwavable chips. I've never seen them before. I feel like they're brand new or like recently new. And I love my potatoes and I love my chips. And I'm like, I have no idea how this is going to taste, if it's going to be good or bad. But supposedly it cooks in four minutes. So I'm going to give these a go and hope that they're good. Because if it is, that means that's really, really fast to get some chippies. Ooh, so that's what the chips look like. I put it in for three and a half minutes because our microwave is a little bit like more powerful and stronger than some of them. So hopefully in that time it cooks and is really good and tasty. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, let's do a little short mini mukbang. I got my chippies. Three and a half minutes seasoned with some chicken salt and some normal salt. Let's see. Ooh, I'm kind of worried. Oh, wow. Honestly, 
I thought these were going to be soggy, but for some reason, there's like this weird crisp to it. That's kind of weird. Mmm. Okay. These aren't like 100% amazing, but for three and a half minutes, if you're wanting some chips and you don't want to like put them in the oven or deep fry them, these are pretty good. It just kind of tastes like old chips, like just say if you're getting McDonald's or KFC and they're not super fresh, it tastes similar to that. Not bad, bird's eye, not bad.